three, two, one, we're back. Go net. Let's throw it down to our man on the ground this week, Mark Hillman. Mark, we can barely see you through the fog, buddy. How is it out there? Uh, well, it doesn't feel much like Central Florida at all, honestly, right now. It's kind of <laughs> damp, it's kind of chilly, and this golf course. <laughs> I'm Mark Immelman. I'm a golf instructor. I'm a broadcaster for PGA Tour. I'm a college golf coach. An all-around good guy. I'm here up on the 10th green, which will be the player's first green. Broadcasting a PGA Tour event can be really complex. We're dealing with a lot of information all at once. And it's our goal to simplify it and use it all to tell you a story. It'll be an early day, 5.45, I'll arrive on site. I'll basically go through notes quickly, have some coffee, have some breakfast maybe, uh, and then I'll go out and check out the first few holes just to kind of, you know, get that last little cram, if you will, and, and just get comfortable with it. I want to talk about the elevation change to start. A lot goes on behind the scenes and a good broadcast takes a lot of coordination. There are hundreds upon hundreds of very talented folks who are working their individual roles from getting camera folks into position, getting audio, and then adding us announcers. The fairway canvas from left to right. You know, I have information coming into my headset. A spotter is giving me yardages. I get caddies giving me signals as to the clubs that I'm using. I'm also listening to the broadcast to make sure what I do on the course is apropos to what my fellow announcers are doing. But having the benefit of this technology gives you added ways to illustrate what is going down. Because then the show starts, the light gets switched on, and then showtime. 